over the last few years in my neighborhood, I started a homeless coalition in my spare time. So I have two little kids. Um, I was working full time at Time's Up. Uh, and in my spare time, I was doing outreach to, you know, to homeless encampments. I was trying to help people get connected to services. We actually built a one day a week access center in my neighborhood to help people take a shower and get access to a case manager. And I just started to think to myself, you know, I'm here and all the other volunteers that I was working with, we were doing this at nights, on weekends, calling case managers during our lunch breaks. If the people in power right now felt the same level of urgency that I did and my fellow volunteers did to really address this crisis head on, I think the situation that we would be facing in Los Angeles today would look incredibly different. And I think when you take a step back and look at homelessness as part of a broader housing crisis that's impacting Los Angeles and many other cities in California, I think we could have done a lot more to keep people in their housing so we've seen an incredibly large number of evictions. We've seen something like over 500,000 evictions in just eight years. Um, we've seen a lot of people lose their homes and leave. And the people who are leaving are working people, people of color, immigrants, the kinds of people that we're fighting for across America. And we could have been doing a lot more to help them stay in their homes. I, I wanna press on that for one more sec. First of all, I gotta say though, um, anyone who, I don't know anything about the incumbent to be honest with you, okay? Uh, but anyone who uh, organizes a homeless coalition in their spare time <laughs> should be in government. Okay, <laughs> uh, so Nithya for the city.com, Nithya for the city.com. Okay, that's the website. Thank you so much for Thank joining you so us. Much really for appreciate me. it. Such Thank a you. Pleasure.